Are you wondering how to not care what other people think? Well, guess what? This video is for you, so keep watching. Do you care too much about what other people think? Then this video is for you. I'm going to help you understand why we care what other people think, even when we don't want to. And then I'll give you strategies to stop letting what other people think make you feel bad and ruin your life. This is a very good video, isn't it? Because so many people mm -hmm. care so much what other people think. So I'm actually excited to talk with you about this. I, I think that even if people don't realize it or it's not something they want to admit, what other people think controls a lot of their decisions. And that's kind of a really tough place to be in. I'm Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer. And I'm Carrie Thompson, MSN, RN, and the Chief Operations Officer here at Code Red. If you find it hard to not care about what other people think, you're definitely not the only person who feels this way. From a very young age, most people are taught to care about what other people think. It's done with good intentions, to help shape you into a decent human being. But what gets us into trouble is when we care so much about what other people think that we stop being true to ourselves. And I think also what starts to happen is that we lose our ability to make decisions because we're so worried about what other people are saying. So worried. How we're raised isn't the only factor in why we care what other people think. A lot of it comes from our survival wiring. I mean, did you guys know this? See, for all of human history, you had to be part of a tribe to survive. Life was just so dangerous that without your tribe, it was highly unlikely that you would survive. Being exiled from your tribe was the same as a death sentence. Now, because of that, our brains evolved to care mm -hmm. what others think. As far as your brain is concerned, it's literally a matter of life or death. Well, in today's world, that's not necessarily the case for all people like it was earlier in our history. Mm -hmm. And the truth is it's still really harmful and for us and it feels very isolating for us. Studies after studies have shown, Christy, that being isolated and being alone has super negative consequences to our physical and mental health. Yeah. But being unpopular or having someone mad at you isn't a death sentence like it was an earlier man. Right. The problem is our brain's survival wiring hasn't figured that out yet. So as far as the brain is concerned, being unpopular is the same as death. Isn't that weird? And we have even met people in Code Red that are literally paralyzed from making any decisions about their health, about their life or anything because they're so scared of what other people are going to think and or say about them. They can't make any decisions. I can't wrap my head around that. Yeah, That's crazy. <laughs> so are you starting to see why not caring what other people think is so hard? It's because you're fighting against a life or death mechanism that is hardwired into our brain. Well, another reason it's really hard not to care what other people think is because most people are taught to take things really personally. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and all around us, we see people taking things super personally. We figure it's just like how it is. It's not true. That is just not true. If you don't take it personally, well, it can't hurt you because you aren't allowing it to. Uh -huh. I mean, I get that this one is easier said than done, sure. But remember this the next time you feel hurt by what someone thinks. It's not about you. But sometimes it's truly about what their perception of you or their expectations of you should be mm -hmm. or what their expectations or their disappointments about themselves are. And they project that on you. So then that feels like they're disapproving of what you're doing. And the truth is it's really about them and yeah. it's not about you. All right, before we go to our next point, we want to hear from you. I read all your comments. I love to get to know you better. So comment below and tell me, tell us, do you struggle with this? Do you struggle with worrying about what other people think? I know that's kind of a broad question, but is this something that is um, crippling in your life? Comment below, tell us what you think. Now let's talk about what you can do to stop worrying about what people think. Now that you're aware of your brain's survival wiring, which you can't really control initially, but you can also start to remind yourself that, hey, you're not gonna die if someone doesn't like you. What other people think of you really is just their opinion. Yes. You, you don't have to internalize it or even believe it. I mean, it's an opinion, it's not fact. I don't want you to harden your heart and shut down your emotions. 
I'm not talking about cutting yourself off from your feelings. I'm talking about changing how you think about other people's opinions so you don't feel the need to care about what they think. I think, Christy, that if you can go from caring what other people think to not caring, it sounds like a really big stretch because you can't just all of a sudden go, I don't care, I don't care. I mean, that's a lot for people right. who have, that's been a big issue with for a lot of their life. So here's an in-between step that you can go. Start curating whose opinions you listen to. The opinion of some random grumpy person on social media, it's not really worthy of you. And neither is the opinion of a bully or a toxic person. Absolutely. I mean, I have people in my life who've earned the right to share their opinion because you know what, they know me and I know they have my back. I mean, it doesn't mean I always do what they think or even that I always care what they think. It just means that I trust them, like my sister, mm -hmm. to have my best interests at heart because I know them and they know me. But one thing I'd like to say, even about us being sisters, is that we don't tell each other our opinions on everything. Actually, you're right. That's It's very true. So for instance, I care what Christy thinks about uh, you know, the way I look for certain events or how I'm performing at work, but I don't always care if I get another chicken. I don't even care if she yeah. cares yeah. if I get another dog because not that I don't care what she thinks, but about that subject, it's not something she speaks into my life and I don't speak into her life on those things. Right. So I think it's really important that you kind of start to narrow this down. You want to curate whose opinion you give weight to because not everyone has earned the right for their opinion to be a part of your life. I love that. And also it's important to be aware that one of the biggest causes of worry what people think mm -hmm. is the fear that what they think about you is true. Let's say you feel like people are always judging you. By the way, they are always judging you, but whatever, anyway. <laughs> but ask yourself, can anyone really make you feel judged unless you're always judging yourself? Or let's say that someone says they think you look fat, which is awful thing to say to somebody. Ugh. But if you truly think that you look great and you believe that, can anyone else really make you think you look fat. No, they can't. You really want to sit with this one and really mull it over everyone because when someone says something that hurts our feelings, it's really usually because part of you is scared that what they're saying is true, like you said earlier. And if so, if it's not true, it, nothing they can say can affect you. If it's not true, then it doesn't matter that they said it and you really have to just kind of let it pass by. Mm -hmm. Take a look at how you're living your life right now. If you care too much about what other people think, ask yourself, is this because deep down, right. I'm not happy with myself? I mean, if that's the case, the best thing you can do for yourself is to make sure that you are happy mm -hmm. with yourself. If being unhappy with yourself means that you're not taking good care of your health, well, that means that you need to check out Christy's 10 pound takedown. Yeah, the 10 pound takedown is pretty awesome. I mean, I'll show you how to lose all the weight you want and feel better by eating real food, drinking water and sleeping. And I know that sounds too good to be true, but it's not. We're talking no shakes, no pills, no diet foods, no exercise. It's the proper human diet. That's what we call it. Uh, I linked it up below, 10poundtakedown.com. Um, so check that out. That's the best place to get started. We love you and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, we'll do the show first. My left nostrils. For all of human history, oh, I just spit. Sorry about that. I <laughs> went blah. Did you see that? No, it, it was blah. impressive. <laughs> now let's talk about why. Oh, just a minute. Oh, you started ahead. talking about when I put when I was. No, I can't control her. <laughs> now let's talk about what you can do to stop worrying about what people think. Hold on. Sorry, I was blowing my burp that way. Do it again. <laughs> okay, ready. <laughs> I know I was burping and then I went while you were, I was doing a grandma bit. I, I was going like this while you were talking, like smoking. Start curating. Make it That's open. a weird word. Yeah. Is that your word? Um, I love that word. Okay. You want to curate whose opinion? Cur Cur Do it again. How in the world are you so good at this? Are you kidding me? I never did it this as well as you. Well, I do have are that degree in communication arts. Why are you doing this so good? No, it just.